I wanted you to talk to us about those choices, what to choose, what not to choose, to make healthy choices around being that road warrior and food and water and exercise. Give us some tips in November to help us really own that road warrior-ness. Okay, so we want to make some really good, sound, healthy choices, particularly when you're preparing to travel during your trip and then when you get home and recover. One of my favorite things for getting ready for a trip is so simple and it's water. People don't think about the value of water. I travel with my bottle, it gets emptied out and then I refill it. Another little tip for water drinking when you're on airplanes is ask the flight attendant for two glasses of water. You want to stay hydrated while you're flying. Avoid alcohol. And I know for some people <laughs> that's going to be a tough one, but you want to avoid alcohol when you're flying because it's dehydrating. Your th hydration is big for everything and it makes our brains function better. We just, we need hydration. We need good water hydration. Water when you're traveling. Since you asked me to talk about some of the things that are dehydrating coffee and even tea, so just go easy on the things that are dehydrating. You know, don't drink coffee when you're flying because you're now doing a double really? load. Yeah. So we want to drink green tea. Have chamomile tea or something like that that's soothing and nice for bedtime or after dinner time that when you want to really start ramping down. And <laughs> when we drink alcohol at dinner time, on top of the wonderful food load, we end up with a lot of insulin, a lot of insulin. And so our body rises to the occasion of, you know, all the sugar that's coming in, including sure. alcohol. It's not unusual to then really bottom out somewhere in the three, four o'clock time of the morning. And people come into my practice and routinely complain of waking up at three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Well, if your brain is on and you could balance your checkbook or start your presentation right then and there, you're out of fuel. And that's when you need a snack. And I like to travel with a little snack bag of nuts. I like raw nuts raw nuts like Brazil nuts and walnuts, almonds. Um, I always throw some raw uh, pumpkin seeds in there. These are high protein, they're also fat, but they're a good fat, and there's a very big distinction about good fats. So here's a champion breakfast in your hotel room, your own little bit of, just a, just a little bit of raw nuts, not much, your own tea, your own tea bag, black tea, green tea, whatever that might be, and So what an you're apple. saying is that all the breakouts of your next convention stock up on that's, the wellness. That's right. But that's not what I'm saying. That's right. And then you can go downstairs and have breakfast. I like to travel with my own dark chocolate at least 72% on the dark chocolate. Now why is dark chocolate better than milk chocolate? Because it's lower sugar. Okay. Milk chocolate is a higher sugar, and so we, we want to try and keep our sugar and blood sugar levels as flat as possible throughout the day. We don't want to do this wee crash, mm -hmm. and this is where people get into trouble, and I see it all the time. So dark chocolate is lower in sugar, and it'll help you avoid some of the sweets and treats that are on the buffet table. Or... So there are some things that'll travel well and some things that won't. And a lot of these things are nutritious and other things like bananas are high in sugar. So we want to stay, if we're trying to lose weight and tighten up, go for the citrus fruits, go for the berries, the blueberries, go for apples. If you think about the ABCs, they are apples, berries, and citrus. Okay, Apple those berries are, and citrus. Yeah, those are going to be your lower, your lower sugar fruits, and grapes are nice as well. Um, all of these things are great. I avoid corn and I avoid potatoes. I also avoid um, simple, more simple carbohydrates like breads and pasta and white rice. Mainly because, again, um, it goes right on my waist. You can ask your weight person for double vegetables. You don't need to have the vegetable, the potato, or rice. So just ask your, stat, your weight person for double vegetables, and they'll be like, oh yeah, no problem. This is not a hair, when Harry met Sally you know, request. This is easy. <laughs> an easy and if one. you're having salad, by all means, get protein on board. And the best salad dressings are really olive oil and vinegar or olive oil and, le and fresh lemon. And one of the things that I like to do when I get to the hotel is I like to scope out the workout facility, and I'll tell you why because I want to know what they have. And I always tell people 10 minutes of the treadmill or rowing machine or stretching, anything, 10 minutes is better than zero minutes. And what I like to do when I travel is I like to pack 
Uh, oops, I want to keep, keep this. I like to pack a pair of multi-purpose shoes. So if it's in the summertime, I'll pack something like this that I can either go for a walk, be on the treadmill, or use as very unattractive house shoes in my hotel room. <laughs> in the winter, I'll use a pair of clogs that I can walk, be on the treadmill or rowing machine, and then use as house shoes. Years ago, for one of my guys who was on his third uh, tour in Iraq, um, I cut up a yoga mat. And these, for me, these are the sides of my hands. So I can do some yoga stretches, two hands, two feet, without having a big yoga mat, which is a very bulky thing. And these slip right into the front pocket of my suitcase. If you're traveling somewhere where you can, where you're driving, take your own pillow because anytime you can sleep on your pillow at home, you will sleep and rest better. And I specifically have kept some very old pillowcases because these days all the bed linens are white. Something like this is going to help you keep from leaving your own pillow in the hotel room. Oh, so tip. take your own pillow if you're driving or if you have room and that way you'll, you'll sleep better. Try and keep your, your hotel room as dark and as quiet as possible. That's another key. Mm. So thank you very much for your time, Dr. Mary Warren. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming by. My so pleasure. Thankful for you.